Okay, so first of all, I will start by creating a nested substitute function. So I'll type equals substitute. Then the text is going to be all of my phrases here. And the old text will be this cell and the new text will be this cell and close brackets and enter. And now in all of my phrases, the word slow has been substituted for the word quick. Now I'll turn this into a nested substitute formula by adding another substitute formula to the beginning of this. And the text this time will be the results of the previous substitute formula. And this time the old text will be this cell here and the new text will be this cell here. And close brackets and enter. And now in addition to the word slow being substituted for quick, five is also being substituted for seven. I will do this one more time. So I'll put substitute at the beginning of this. Now all of this is the text, then this time this is the old text and this is the new text and close brackets and enter. Then I'll put an apostrophe at the beginning of this formula so we can actually see the whole formula. And we can see that this has a repeating pattern. For the first part, we have the word substitute and open brackets being repeated three times. Then in the middle, we get the cell reference which contains all of my phrases. Then at the end, we get the cell references for the table. And so the pattern goes D3, E3, D4, E4, D5, E5. So the trick that we're going to use is finding a way to recreate this pattern without having to type it all out. And I'll start by counting the number of rows in this table, and that's six. So I need to type substitute here, and then open brackets, and then drag this until I get six copies. Then at the beginning of this, I need to put an equals. And at the end of this, I need to put the cell reference for my phrases. So this is A2 colon A17. Then we need to put in the cell references for the table. So this is gonna be D3. And then I can just click and drag this down until I get to D8. And I can do the same thing for the E column as well and just drag this down until I get to E8. Then I need to sort out the commas and the brackets. So I need to have a comma in the front of the E here and I can just drag that down. However, I can't just put a bracket at the end of this because then it just copies the same number down. So instead, I'm going to have to put the bracket in front of the D here because the number always has to be at the end. And I also need a comma in here and then I will drag this down. Now I've got all of the parts sorted out, I can put this all together and we can do that using the text join function. So the delimiter will be two quotation marks with nothing in between. Then I'll say true to ignore empty cells. Then text one will be all of these values in this row. And text two will be all of these cell references here and close brackets and enter. And I'll drag this along a little bit so we can see the end. And there's a couple of problems with this formula. We have an extra close brackets here after the cell reference for the phrases. So to remove that, I'm going to edit this first cell here. Then we also need a close brackets right at the very end. So I will put in a close brackets here. And we have to edit the beginning and the end because they're the only parts that don't match the pattern. Now that I've got the formula sorted out, I am going to copy this and then I'll right click and paste as values. 
To get this to actually stay as the formula, I need to click in the formula bar and then press enter. And now you can see we get the results. So if I click inside the formula bar again, you can see that the nested substitute formula is now working and all of these cell references are in the correct place. You should know that Excel does have limits for how long you can make a formula. So if you're doing something which is more complicated, you might want to consider using a different method. For example, you could use a reduce function or VBA or Power Query. And I have previously made videos showing how to replace words using those methods. This method is really more of an in-between sort of method for formulas that are short enough that this will still work, but also that they are long enough that using this trick is actually worthwhile. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you a trick to more quickly make nested formulas in Excel. And that is everything.